Welcome to UMAP. Today's episode is being brought to you by Simpsons Tic Tacs. If you're trying to impress that significant other, just reach for it, Simpsons Tic Tac. You'll be glad you did. Today we are talking about combining like terms. Uh, we talked about polynomials last day. Um, we use the term names, uh, which is kind of synonymous with terms. So um, let's uh, take a look at an example. We'll start with we'll start with this one here, and we can actually define what the number is. We, we talked about family names in lesson 159 when we introduced polynomials. Like the name of this family here for this is x squared y, but we never really talked about the number. The number itself is called the coefficient. So looking at family names, uh, we'll look at these six terms right here, and then we'll, fig we'll figure out which ones actually you could combine with this one, which belong to this family. So let's look at the first one. We're looking for x squared y. This one just has an x squared, so that does not combine well. Second one, x squared y, x squared y, that one does. We have like terms or the same family name. Next one, x, y squared. No, it's kind of backward from that, so that one doesn't work either. Next, x squared, y squared. Well, it's got an extra squared here you don't see there. So that one doesn't work either. x squared y, even though there's no coefficient here, that doesn't matter. The family name matches, so that one is alike. And this last one here, x squared y, yes, it matches. It doesn't matter that there's a negative in front of the coefficient. So three of them match or are alike, and three of them are not. Let's look at some more examples here. We've got this question. All of the family names are the same for all of the terms. They all belong to the X family. And because they belong to the X family, we can group them together. We've got three here. We have five more. That makes eight because we're adding. Add one more makes nine. Add six more, and you have 15. And that's our answer. Look at another one. In this one, we have uh, two different family names. We've got the R family and the P family. So let's start by looking at all the R's. We have four here. And we add three more R's for a total of seven R's. We have two, and that's positive, P's, and we take one P away from that. So if we have two, take away one P, we're just left with one positive P. And that's our answer. Look at this one. Let's start with this family name which is the x squared y. Let's see if we get a match. No. No. Okay, we have a match here. So because these two match, now we collect them together. We combine them. We have seven here positive. We add three more. So we have a total of ten. Family name x squared y. So those are done. So we move on to the next family name or term, xy squared. Here's another xy squared. We have three of them here. We're taking two of them away. So we have a positive xy squared, just one of them. And remember, if there's just one, you never put the one in front of the term. You just leave it as this. That shows that there's just one. So we're done with those. And now we have one without any variables. There's just a number here. It's all on its own. 
plus 7. And that is our answer. That's how you combine like terms. Uh, there is a question in today's lesson that I thought I'd go over with you. Um, and that uses the distributive principle. It's number 14. And so what you do for this one is you would write down 5x. And then you take the distributive principle here, which we learned in a previous lesson. You go 2 times x is 2x. And you go 2 times 3, which is 6. Now you can actually combine them. 5x's plus 2x's is 7x's plus 6. And that would be our answer. So for today's lesson, we have a few questions to cross off. In problem solving, you will cross off two, three, four, oh, and I'll let you cross off five as well. So it's two, three, four, and five. In sharpening skills, uh, interest formula questions, I'm only going to have you do the first one. And remember that the formula is I party, capital I equals P times R times T, principal times rate times time. And it's always based on years. On the next page, you can cross off 4, 5, and 6. You can also cross off 9. And you may cross off 11 and 13. For these, if you forget how to do these, um, finding distances on maps, you can set up a ratio. All you have to do is look at the actual uh, scale here, or the legend which says one centimeter equals 10 kilometers. And that would be your first ratio, one over 10. And then you just figure out how far this is by measuring. And that would be your third term in your second uh, fraction. And then you can figure it out all by a ratio to do questions 10 and 12 if you get stuck. That was easy. <laughs>